So I was listening to a audiobook by Ryan Holiday, really good author, especially really good for marketing and kind of branding stuff. But also he talks a lot about uh, stoicism, being a stoic. Um, and one of the things he mentioned is there was a boxing coach, can't remember who it was, I, cu I couldn't find it on Google either, who pretty much said to his students, you know, you need to, to be successful, to be a well-rounded person, a negative, an equals, and a positive. So to most of us, we think, oh, GCSE maths wasn't my strong point. But what it actually means is you need a negative. So you need someone who is not at your kind of level in boxing, in cooking, in property investment, whatever, so that you can confer your knowledge to and help. You then need an equal. So someone who's at roughly the same kind of level as you so that you can spar with, you can compete with, bounce ideas off, understand each other on the same kind of wavelength. You then also need a positive, someone who's above you and, and more skilled than you, more experienced than you, a better, a better gardener than you to learn from. So it's a really simple concept, but I wanted to get people's thoughts on it. You know, do we all need a negative equals and a plus to be successful and be well-rounded individuals? You know, I kind of, you know, naturally have a plus and equals and a negative, and I really do see a big benefit from it. You know, think about your life. Do you have a situation like this?